What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another edition of Coding with Robbie. My name is Robbie and in this video we're going to be covering Shopify meta fields. So uh, before we get started make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know you're there. And uh, yeah you're probably wondering Robbie what's a meta field? Well it is basically a place to store additional data in Shopify. So you can add a meta field to products, collections, your shop, pretty much any object in Shopify you can add a meta field to. And it's a little bit of a hidden feature because if you're in your admin dashboard, there is no way to add a meta field through this dashboard. It can only be done through the API. So you have to depend on an app to do this, but there's some really good apps out there and it's uh, not difficult at all. And uh, yeah, so what is this good for? Let me kind of paint a scenario for you. So say we have a product page like this and down here we have a specifications area. And really, if you go to the product um, editor page, really the only place you get to store data, sorry, it's just taking a second to load. Extremely long time to load, that's weird. I just kind of ruined my whole segment, come on. What the f Shopify? All right, there we go. The, really the only place you get to uh, store data is the title, description, and media fields. And then there's some price and stuff. But you know, there's really no place to add specification data. So you're probably thinking, oh, we got settings, why don't you just use um, section settings? So I kind of set that up to show you the issue with that. So let's say we're on products. I got my default product. I got settings for it right here. But this is just for the default product. So say I have 20 products. For every single one, I'm gonna have to uh, Create a new template, and let's call this one a uh, leather jacket. And let's say, hey, the leather jacket, maybe it's, you know, 54 and 32, and we save it. And that's gonna create an additional template file on our theme. And then we have to go within products, and we have to find the leather jacket, or really any product we wanna use it on. Shopify is really slow today. And then I gotta go, hey, I don't wanna use the default template, I wanna use that new one I created. And this is just gonna create a ton of bloat within your theme. You're gonna end up with hundreds of template files and it's just really a bad way to do it. So before we go any further, I'm just gonna delete that new template we created. So let's go to online store and just go to your theme and go to edit code. And then find the newly created uh, product template, mine's right here. And I'm just gonna trash it. There we go. So in order to add meta fields to your store, you're gonna to have to download an app. If you just search for meta fields on the app store, there's a bunch of different ones. And by far the best app is meta fields guru. So I'd highly recommend this app. You just come here and add app. And once you do add it to your store, you get to a dashboard like this. And here's all the different objects you can add meta fields to. So you got products, variants, collections, orders, blog posts, shop, really anything. So let's rework our specifications table right here to use meta fields instead. So let's go to products and we want to add it to our leather jacket and we just hit create meta field and a meta field has a type so there's a bunch of different types you can use and for our usage we're going to do dimension and then a meta field has a namespace so let's namespace it specs and a key. Let's call this height and then we'll give it a value of 40 inches and we'll just hit save and this is gonna add that data to our product. And now we can access that within our uh, section template file. So let's go to our template. Here's the section right here. And right here you see I'm using the setting to show the height. Let's change that to use our meta field. So it's gonna be product.metafields. And then we do the uh, namespace, which was specs, and uh, the key, which was height. So let's save that and see what happens. We'll go back to our product page and I'll refresh. And it looks like that meta field is an object that has key value and key unit. So let's go back here and let's go dot value. And then we'll show the unit after. So let's copy this and put dot unit. Let's save that and refresh. And there we go, it's now using that meta field so now I could add that to all my products and it won't create new templates or anything. So we could go through and add meta fields for each one. But what's gonna be annoying is that 
say we do add all three right here and then we go and do another product uh, we're gonna have to recreate every single one it's just gonna take a lot of time so this app introduced a setting called MetaField Sets and this basically lets you predefine a schema. So let's add one for products. We'll call this product specs. And then you could filter what products you want it to show on. I'm gonna leave it blank so it'll be all the products. I'll hit create. And now we can add the settings we want here. So let's uh, create one that's a Boolean. Let me find Boolean right here. We'll call this namespace specs, key has specs. And then we'll add one. Oh, we gotta put a label too. So let's call this enable specs table. And then we'll do our dimension fields right here. So let's go dimension, specs. This one's gonna be height. And then let's add another one for length. So this will also be a dimension. And then the last one we have is thickness. So let's go dimension again. Specs thickness. Hit save. So now we kind of declared what fields a product should have. So now if we go back here, we go to products again and say we want to add it to our blue tuxedo. We go in here and we still don't see it, but now we have this tab up here called product specs. We can click into that and we have all our fields predefined. So we can just go true. Our height maybe is 100 inches. Our length is 200 centimeters and our thickness is 45 millimeters. Hit save. And it should have added all that data to the blue tuxedo product. And we can see it right here now. So let's go to our blue tuxedo product right here. And let's finish up uh, hooking up our meta fields to the template. So I'll go back here and let's just copy this right here. So now we have length. So let's paste that in length and length. And then we have thickness. So let's go down here, paste it again. Thickness. And then we added that has specs uh, boolean field. So maybe this whole uh, section doesn't show if we don't have that meta field. So let's go up here and let's just go if uh, product.metafields.specs.has specs. If that's the case, we'll show this section. Otherwise, we don't show anything. So let's close that up, hit save, and go back to our page. And now I refresh. We get 100 inches, 200 centimeters, 45 millimeters. And then we go to a different product and that section won't show at all. So say I went to this product, we don't have it. So another cool thing we can do is we can actually loop through these specs since they all have the same namespace. So let's go to our section file and right here we're doing all the different rows. Let's do a loop instead. So right here we can go for spec and product.metafields.specs. Um, end for and then for each one let's just render out spec and see what happens so just like that let's go back to our tuxedo product and we can see it rendering right here and it's a little bit weird but it's an array the zero position is the key and the one position is the value so to make this work we could um, copy our row right here and then we'll show the key right here so let's go um, spec zero and then for the value it would be spec one dot value and for the unit it would be spec one dot unit just like that let's delete these rows down here and that's my dog barking uh, let's go back and i'll refresh and there we go it's rendering a row for each one so really we should have put this has specs in a different namespace but loops can be pretty powerful with meta fields and uh, yeah, that's pretty much the formula for adding meta fields in Shopify. So we added it to a product, but this could be done on any object type and you would just change it in your code. So say we added it to shop, it would be shop.metafields.key.value. Or if we did it on order, it'd be order.metafields. And 
yeah, you can pretty much add it to any object in Shopify. And uh, yeah, I'd encourage you to come in here and maybe play with the different types. So we did dimension, but there's really all kinds of different types and they all work the same way. So say we did date, you just do the date. Tons of different stuff you can do. So uh, I think that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment. Let me know you're there and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.